All right, emergency press conference time. Guys, I, I don't know how to explain this, but we got a 64-year-old, wait, 60-year-old maybe, I don't know how old he is, he's old, and a 30-year-old talking trash about me on in a 30-minute podcast basically destroying me, okay? I haven't posted a link to the podcast, but I'll have someone throw it in the comments for me, and you guys go watch this video. But I want to debunk everything they have said in this video because it's absolutely disgusting. And they have someone coming in to join me to explain that something that happened a few days ago where I'm being accused of making some making fun of someone's speech impediment is not true. Okay. And this all goes back to December. Back when some of you may know, some of you may not know, I did a podcast with a guy named Anthony Richards also known as Tony D, about mental health. After Brian Mackey got, he basically left the podcast because he didn't like what Tony and the other individual had to say. So I got the offer from Tony to go on the show. And the show quickly unraveled because from day one, we had nothing but issues between Tony talking trash about Brian. Okay, I also always also was talk, talking trash about Brian. I will say that. Okay, because once once again, Brian seems to stick his nose in everything and basically put his two cents in when I didn't want it. Brian, I never once asked. I know this is going to sting. I never once asked you to for your opinion. I never once asked you to send, email me a video you explaining how I'm going to do my podcast. I appreciate that. I don't appreciate everything else you're saying. Slandering my name. Saying I'm, I'm anti-LGBTQ. For one, I'm not. That's disgusting that you would say something like that. Okay? And two, you brought my father into this. That was even worse. You brought my father into this on a night he called into a podcast. I had no idea what he was talking about. My father calls him <laughs> a lot of the time goes off on tangents, just like you do, like you've done, okay, in the Facebook live chat and on people's podcasts, okay, if we want to get in the nitty gritty of this. Then you brought up my childhood. That was also very much out of line, okay? You said I complained about my childhood. Not once did I ever complain about my childhood. I've always said my childhood is what made me today, okay? I have done nothing but fight and fight and fight and fight to live and be happy. And I'm finally at a point, and both of you are pissed off because both of you are pissed off because I'm doing shit you couldn't do. Tony, you say you have a successful podcast? Look at the numbers, Tony. Look at the numbers. 27 views. 27 views a video. A video about me is your most viewed video. A video I helped you with. The God's Chicken video. Your most viewed video because of me. Because I promoted it. I did the work. Okay. I'm just... I can't believe it. And you say you're much higher than this. You call into a public fucking FM radio show to call me a POS. Call me a piece of shit. Let me tell you, Tony. That's fine. I'm clearly in your head. I'm going to stay in your head. And that brings me to the next topic. Okay, you've talked about me your mental health. You've talked about it several times. And honestly, Tony, I'm scared for you, bro. I'm scared for you. I really think a few months ago, you called back. You called into my friend's radio show, Matt's radio show. You went off about how the system was broken and everything else. And I think that's when we all realized there's something wrong. There's something wrong. There's something going on. I reached out to you to talk to you and you blocked me. Not once have I blocked you. You've blocked me. I have the receipts to prove it. You blocked me on my old account that I got, that got banned for a totally separate incident. And then you blocked me on this new account. Okay, I trusted you at a weird time in my life where I didn't know what I was doing because I had just gotten fresh out of an eight month relationship that wasted my time. And you know, I was scared. You're right, I was scared. I didn't know what I was going to do, okay? And then you've also brought up everything else I've done, from scootering to videographer to DJing now to fighting, all right? And you've 
literally said I'm lying about all that, basically. That's what everyone's been saying. You know? And you know what? Let me explain to you something. I'm out to have fun with life and do what the hell I want to do. Okay? And the be worst mistake of my life so far was going on your stupid little shit-ass podcast. That was a failure that unraveled from the beginning. The moment you decided to fabricate lies about a state rep contacting you. Because, you know, what? I asked you for those receipts. I asked you to prove, you know, okay, was she really talking shit about you? You know, messaging on multiple accounts. You never proved that to any of us. You never proved that to me or Kiki. Matter of fact, you undermined Kiki and then kicked her off the show. That's what you did. I kept my mouth shut. But, you know, I was like, I kind of respect Tony, you know. I looked at you as a father figure for a little bit there. Worst mistake of my life. Um, and I was just like, dude, I kept my mouth shut for you. And then you go and do this. Tony, you messed up, bro. It's, it's disgusting. And then, you know, now you're over here saying because I was laughing at somebody's, somebody's call into my friend's radio show, which Matt will be joining me in a minute here to, you know, explain that, that the whole vibe that you got was not, was not the intention, okay? I never once was trying to make fun of Mikey's speech impediment. Never. I was laughing at, for one, he was giving us a complete rundown, dude, from, like, the latitude, longitude of where he was going to be. And I thought it was funny, you know? I was laughing at that. And then Matt was looking at me. And, dude, you should know, I laugh at literally everything. If you look at me the wrong way, I'll laugh. If you get into a fight with me, I'll laugh, man. It's because it's who I am. I don't care. I don't care about Coral. But now it's like, yo, you, you hit a spot when the minute you both... Did a 30-minute podcast, you know? And I wouldn't have known about it unless somebody told me. And, you know, it was like, hey, there's this podcast out there about you. I'm like, bigger's as much. You know, I wasn't going to watch it. Then I watched it, and I was like, dude, I got five minutes in, and you told me I have no path in life, basically. I don't know where I'm going. You know, you're right. I don't. Okay? Because I'm already doing it. I'm already doing what makes me happy. You know, I'm DJing. I'm fighting that fight it will that fight will happen I'm telling you right now okay the reason one I did put out the name of the fighter I can't pronounce it to be honest with you <laughs> but I did put out the name of the fighter okay I put out there and announced it just to get a vibe of how people feel about it okay and you know what you guys brought that up and then you brought up the whole DJing thing and videography thing let me explain something to you all right I was a videographer and photographer for a DJ. I was constantly around DJs. I got into the nightlife scene, and now I'm in the full swing of things, basically, because I love it. I love it. You know what? It's fun. I get to make friends. I get to see people. You know, I get, to, I get paid to party, basically. You know? Who else would refuse that? You know, get paid to party and, you know, watch people have fun and dance, you know? And you're throwing that up in my face. Tony, you've disgusted me, bro. I, I don't know what else to say. And Matt, Matt, you mind coming on? <clears throat> yeah, I, right. I just... Uh, Hold on. Oh, wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. No, the reason I, um, the reason I offered to, to join uh, Christian just briefly on this is I, I you know, and I don't uh, usually, I don't insert myself into these things and y'all can... can fight it out on social media and whatnot. But I wanted to, I just wanted to clarify one thing um, that happened about something that happened on my show. And I kind of referenced it the other day on the show, but what Kristen was talking about earlier, the thing with Mikey or Texas Mike, as we call him on the show, um, Tony, and, and this isn't to, I'm not here to attack anybody or, or be a, aggressive with anybody. Um, uh, you know, this, this isn't, my fight but you know obviously i of course i have christian's back and he lives with us and he's you know we consider him family so um so i i think that uh tony uh tony d did misinterpret something uh clearly that that happened on my show and it it, it involves texas mike calling the show the other day and um and he was giving us uh, the uh, his whole itinerary in tremendous detail 
Uh, as far as I'm his... gonna be at latitude, <laughs> longitude in Dubois, yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah. At that time. Yeah. And I the... was like, dude, you, you can't help but laugh at that. It was it was a whole it, it became a whole thing of yeah, the is it is it Dubois or is it is it uh, Du Bois? Because he was saying Du Bois. I still say Du Bois. And then it and then and then uh Texas Mike proceeded to to go on a, a very detailed and it just kind of went on and on and on about all his stops and it just went on and on. And it was very funny. And uh, Christian was, I, I put the camera on Christian for people watching on Facebook. You know, it's a radio show. Most people just listen to the audio. But I did put the, the camera on Christian because he was laughing pretty hard. But it wasn't, um, it, it wasn't malicious. And, I, and I, I can understand, by the way, now in, in fairness to Tony, I'll, I'll say this because I, I, you know, I insist on being very fair. I can't understand how someone would take that the wrong way. I, I, having said that, I'm a little surprised that Tony would take it the wrong way because he's he's been such a long time loyal listener he's to just, the show, and also it's like he's a raw cut individual too. So yeah, it's like he he made his whole show around. Well, sure, but no, but dude. I but I I would I would have thought that he of anyone would understand the dynamics of the show because, and and for anyone else who isn't clear, you know, we love Mikey and we would never. Nothing was intended to make fun of him Never. or or to to mock him or ridicule him in any way. Um, we were we were laughing at what he was doing because it was funny, but it wasn't it wasn't uh, to to be disrespectful toward him or anything. We love Mikey, and when I talk about the dynamics of the show, you know, there's um, and I I say it sometimes I say it right on the show just to kind of remind people whatever ball breaking is done among us. Mm -hmm. on the show it's all done with love and affection and mikey is a part of that he's part of the the family there um of the show uh and and of other shows at wmnh too Every, everyone loves uh mikey or we we even call him we call him texas mike that's mikey is awesome and i even yeah absolutely. i even sent him a message and i apologize i was like Yo, yeah you took that the wrong way i'm sorry yeah he but goes, he, no i never did there's no no harm done I'm like, no okay. he he gets it we all we all have fun and it wasn't it, there was no uh disrespect or, or bullying or anything and and tony uh just took it wrong and and so I, I just wanted to clarify that because believe me if it were if it were anything um, remote like I said we love Mikey so if if anything were happening that I thought was in any way disrespectful and not in in genuinely good humor I would have interrupted that and redirected mm -hmm. it so that we didn't continue on that path because uh, you know neither of us ever want to hurt. Uh, Mikey's feelings or anyone's feelings. Uh, like I said, it was all in fun. It was it was a light moment, and it wasn't intended to make fun of Mikey or anything like that because we wouldn't do that. You know, we have a lot of fun. It's like with EZG. I mean, EZG <laughs> takes. You know, we 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 pick on him a lot, but it's but but it's with love. It's with mm -hmm. affection because we love the guy. And it's like I said on the show the other day. If we um if we don't like somebody, we don't pick on them. If we exactly. don't like somebody, like say for example, uh, a, a, just, just say hypothetically there was a local politician running for office. Can I say it? No, uh, well it's it's no, nah, let's not. Oh, but but oh, let's oh. just let's just say there was a local politician running for office who even members of this person's own party didn't even like that much. <laughs> We would not even say. Oh, it's say, that one. Okay. We would not even say that individual's name. Also, we would just. Also, you for getting me banned from Facebook. We would just. We would just put that person on the pay no mind okay. list. So if we pick on somebody, like I said, it, it's all done with lighthearted fun, and so so Tony, in that moment, and and that's what prompted him to call. I, I guess um, he took it wrong. He 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 misunderstood, and and I I think he was sincerely misunderstanding. I, I um, but I, I'd like to think so. But he, he he misunderstood the dynamics of of what was happening there. No one was trying to make fun of Mikey. We were having fun with him. Um, I mean, and if anything, I mean, I I've had people tell me uh, a couple. Actually, a few people have told me that. Um, they really like the dynamics with Mikey and how we have Mikey's fun with awesome, him and we dude. all get around. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's simple. It's like Yeah. So I, I I just wanted to clarify that because that seemed to be what set Tony off when he called and and called you a POS and, and all that. He was he seemed to be angry mm -hmm. about that and, and uh and I just I feel that he very much misunderstood and mis misread he what did. was and happening. He, I was so. never, like I said, I was never making fun of Mikey. That was never my oh, God, intention. Oh God, no, no. And you're not, and you wouldn't do that. And you're not that I'm kind not. of person. You're not a bully. You don't. Now, will I, will I call you out on your bullshit? 
like I am right now. Yeah, well, every that's different. Fucking day. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide back out. Right, but but I but I wanted here. to just thank, thank you for you giving me the way. opportunity to to just kind of clarify that for people. But yeah, no, it was like I never like wanted to make fun of Mikey. That was never my true intention. I've known Mikey for years. Right? It's that's not my true intention. And also, it's like here's the other thing they brought up about how I went on the podcast with Tony. And that brings me to my next thing is I watched the video. I want to angle my head up so like we can <laughs> see this. Oh, God, my hair. <laughs> but um, that brings me to my next thing. Okay. During the podcast that Tony and Brian did after, after the show, after Tony called in, called me a piece of shit, basically. Um, I noticed one thing, and that was Brian. I'm mean Brian. Tony's demeanor during when... Brian was basically trying to get out of Tony, like, hey, dude, yeah, we, I was in the wrong, you know, when I made, when I kicked, basically kicked you off the podcast or whatever the f happened there. Tony's demeanor was very uncomfortable. If you go back and watch, right, he's looking down, he's moving his hands, you know, in his sweatshirt, like Brian's trying to get out, get an answer out of him that he's not going to get. Brian's not going to get what he wants to hear. Simple as that. And they're not going to like what I've had to say either. And I, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I don't. You went back and you hit a, you hit a nerve, man. The minute you brought up my father, that was when all bets were off. That's, that's when I was like, you want to throw this card in the ring? Let's throw this card in the ring. Let's do this. And you know what? I've talked to Matt about this. All right. My next time on the show is Thursday. Either of you want to come on and talk and be civil, okay? We can do this. Or not. I don't care. This is the last, if not, you don't want it, this is the last you're going to hear about it from me. Because, you know, I've got better things to do. I've got gigs to do. Speaking of uh, tomorrow, I'm at 603 Bar and Grill for anybody in New Hampshire. Come see me. Thanks. I'm DJing from 9 to 1 with the great Andrew R. He's awesome. Great new DJ. Um, that's all literally I've got to say. And Tony, Brian... You made yourself look like clowns, and I'm loving every minute of it, okay? I'm done, all right? This is an award. Tony, you didn't win. I didn't win. Brian didn't win. Nobody won out of this. You just made yourselves look stupid, and you know. I'm giving my side of everything that happened. I'm done. All right, everyone have a great night. There's like three viewers in here. What's up? Um, yeah. That's that. I'm done. Fuck off.